Dustin Ryder with you. Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here. Welcome to my review for the third issue of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and TMNT crossover comic. I thought this was another strong issue. As I mentioned last week, this kind of got off to like a, a bland start for me. I mean, I thought it was okay, but I wasn't too terribly excited about seeing Paper team up with Paper. But I think ever since we did the Green Ranger Shredder thing, it's really kicked things into high gear. It's kind of weird because it kind of goes against what I usually find interesting about the team ups, which is usually character interaction, but that very often often has to do with the live action versions like in like Crisis and stuff like that where I like to see how these personalities will play off of each other but it doesn't do a whole lot for me on paper so I'm usually not a person that's like oh my god I want to see this suit but I think it's cool that we're getting the what if idea of like a ranger shredder suit kind of like with the Street Fighter ones I just like to see ranger suit designs and I think it's kind of a cool way of tying the mythologies together in a more interesting way of just, oh, these two had a funny scene together. But so it's kind of continued off of that, and you have where we left off last week with Ranger Shredder uh, fighting Rita after morphing, and she's like, oh, you've corrupted the coin. So I'm assuming that means he customized it in some way when he used it or just simply by using it. I mainly mentioned that because there was somebody, I'm sorry, I don't remember who it was, but it seemed really mad in last week's review, or last issue's review, about the fact that the Shredder costume doesn't have sleeves. Like, it totally compromises the integrity of being a ranger. I can be honest, I didn't even notice it, and then I looked at it, and I'm like, oh, well, that's fine. Like, I don't really care. I think the sleeve, no sleeves is fine. I think it fits for Shredder. Like, but we all know, like, the cornerstones of being a ranger. Number one is sleeves right above don't escalate a battle and don't use power for personal gain. I still think the escalate a battle one's a stupid one, but that's for another time. But so... Sleeves is very important, apparently, but maybe that's why. Maybe he customized it, and that's why it looks a little bit different. Nonetheless, it's cool. He talks about how the power feels good, and it's like, that scene from Spider-Man 3, the power feels good, it was exactly that scene. And he's like, you know, Rita, are you going to work with me or against me? And then they end up working together because he wants to get the other power coins from the Rangers. And uh, we have kind of a nice scene, speaking of character interactions, even though it's not my absolute favorite thing in this, there were some nice little character interactions between uh, the civilian rangers and the turtles, just kind of talking about stuff and the situation, and like, then they morph when they get a signal to where Tommy is, because Zordon sort of finds the general area where Tommy is, and like, when that happens, one of them asks, like, where do your clothes go, which is a fair question, which is kind of funny, I like that. Um, and then also, speaking of where Tommy is, Tyler, who is this random character that appeared last week, uh, I keep saying last week, but you know, last issue, you know what I mean, is talking to Tommy and he's like, you know, sorry I betrayed you, but I couldn't betray my clan. And we find out that Tyler was in the, like, boy's home that Tommy was in before he got adopted. I always forget Tommy has a backstory about being adopted that they bring up every now and then in the comics. I don't remember it ever being brought up in the show, so... Yeah, like, it's kind of a nice touch because it talks about how Tyler was basically mad that Tommy abandoned him by being adopted, and then he kind of basically fell in with the wrong crowd, which is the Foot Clan. And I do kind of like that. It adds a little bit more to it, a little bit of an interesting dynamic for Tommy and his character. But at the same time, it seems out of left field. Like, I guess it's not unheard of, but usually when you have something like this, it's a character that means something that we know. So it's just random to create this character and backstory for Tommy all of a sudden this crossover, which I feel like just stopped me in my tracks trying to figure out, like, who the fork is Tyler? But I guess we found out this week. I like aspects out of it, but still the creation of this just seems out of left field. Uh, but that's, we find that out in the Tommy stuff going on this week. And then when the Rangers find uh, the general area where Tommy was, it's a trap and they get assaulted by Shredder, who hits them with something that demorphs them and they can't use their powers. And then Casey joins, Casey joins, Casey joins, Jones the fight. Casey Jones joins the fight, that's hard to say. Um, it was really funny because for a split second, I thought it was Tommy. I'm like, are they doing like a thing where, like, it's evil Tommy Casey Jones again? Because they asked him like, where's Tommy? What happened to him? And he said like, the same thing that's gonna happen to you. And then right then Casey shows up and I thought that he like brainwashed Tommy to look like an evil Casey Jones because he's got the long hair and I'm like, okay, that's evil Casey Jones Tommy and then real Casey Jones is gonna come in, they're gonna fight. But then it was just Casey Jones. I was like overthinking it. But Casey Jones shows up and I said Casey Jones so many times just in the last few seconds, it's insane. But they end up fighting and then escaping because they can't morph because of whatever he did to them. And they find out later that whatever he did to them means that they can't morph. The power coin didn't lose their powers because 
Obviously, they want the powers of the power coins, but they can't specifically use the coins uh, for whatever he's doing with Rita, and Zordon's like, okay, you can't use the coins, and the turtles say, like, well, what about us? Basically, do we get to pick our own colors? And they're holding the morphers, implying that next week we are going to get ranger forms for the turtles, which I kind of dig. It's definitely, like, against my usual, like, shallow toku fapping, like, Zom, we're gonna see a suit, but... I think that's cool. I think it's taking the most advantage of this crossover and being able to meld the things. Actually, I think it would be kind of cool if next week when they fight, we get to see like the turtles morphing into rangers and then maybe the rangers would use more like ninja gear to fight civilian wise. Like I almost want to say I want to see the rangers give their weapons or the rangers, the turtles give their weapons to the rangers. So like the turtles are morphing and then one of the rangers, there's gonna be one left out though because there's only four or five, you know, the difference there. Uh, but them using the weapons of the turtles. But then another part of me wants to see the coins somehow turn the turtles weapons into power weapons. But I think that would be a cool role reversal for the crossover, having ranger turtles and the ninja rangers. And this also now makes me wish that we set this during season three. That would have been so perfect. They were the freaking Ninja Rangers, but we got no season one's the only season. Oh my god, that trash. It's still cool, but now when I'm thinking about that, I'm like, we had a freaking Ninja season. What the hell? I thought it was a solid issue. I thought it continued the momentum and is doing a pretty good job of taking advantage of the crossover stuff. I would give it an eight overall. What do you guys think? Are you enjoying the season? Do you now wish like me that we'd use season three for the crossover comic? Uh, let me know in the comments as usual and I will be back with my review of next issue when it comes out and I'll probably refer to this as last week then. Anyway, till next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and climb the steps and ring that bell so you can get notifications for my videos. Dawson Writer, signing out.